Yo, 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 yo I'm, I'm coming to, I'm coming to LA. I'm coming to LA like within the next month. So, me, you gotta lock in. Hey, 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 my baby mama just said you giving flashbacks, <laughs> which is real shit though. Cause I, how I give you baby mama flashbacks? Look, nigga. Really? I started watching you when I was homeless, living in my car and shit. You know what I'm saying? So every time she see you. They take her back to when we was living in our car. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Nah, that's love right there, though. See right here. Nah, that's love right there. Yo, nah, nah. We just been talking shit just about random shit, man. Trying to figure it out. Hey, who the niggas you on the line with? Uh, I, like, these my niggas, I, like, they've been in my stream for, like, mad long. It's my nigga Lil Boom and then uh, uh, Big AJ. But they rappers. Man, they do everything, man. These niggas just hustlers, man. They just be doing everything. Like, a boomer rapper. Shit, you fuck with them. So I fuck with them. Okay. I don't know them niggas, though, to keep w. it real. One of them niggas sound corny as fuck. Which one? Huh? I don't know their names. It's two of them, so we gotta be one of them, one of the two. Shit. <laughs> Who? But, uh, but you my guy, though. I fuck with them. I don't even know them niggas, bro. It's just that when I heard the, uh... Y'all niggas speaking on other niggas' bitches, like, bro, these bitches ain't got nothing to do with what the niggas got going on. You know what I'm saying? And when you look at the whole thing, and that's why I was telling you that was corny shit, uh, when that boy said something about, uh, little baby, uh, baby mama. Yeah. In the industry, in the industry, bro, in the industry, you speak on a nigga baby mama, you know, Will Smith your ass, right? Nah, so, you, you, nah, I I do so believe. I this rapper, so they dealing with speaking. Nigga turn Will Smith into a verb. You disrespect somebody, girl. They gonna get on stage and slap the fuck out of you like Will Smith did. But these I, niggas is rappers, so they involved with street niggas. Niggas get smoked for speaking up on niggas, girls like that, bro. They fucking with street niggas now. They better chill out. I'm telling you, man. Baby mama, niggas love their baby mama more than their mama, bro. You gotta understand that's where niggas' kids come from. You know what I mean? And even if you're not with your baby mama, you can have a wife right now. Anybody fuck with your baby mama, you on their ass, boy. I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? That's why when I was watching, I'm like, nah, bro. They need to chill the fuck out. Bro. Nah, yo, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, this is how I look at the whole industry shit. When a nigga, as long as a nigga been claiming a chick too heavy... Bro, you know that's that nigga's girl forever, bro. Like, you, it's a dub. Like, you gotta... Because here's the thing, though. Some type of way, bro. It's a million bitches up in this industry. I mean, not up in the industry in the world. And these niggas fucking on the same bitch. That's why I be saying, like, I heard somebody, uh, I think it was the boom nigga. I think it was the boom nigga. That's the nigga you was talking to the longest, right? Yeah. All right. That, that's the one I fuck with. He was like, uh, what the nigga say? Uh, the nigga said something about some bitch. And no matter who she is, bro, that be their baby mama. Like, them niggas gonna love her. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like he know what's up, but the... Bro. That shit is, that shit is real delicate. It's a real delicate situation. Now, the other nigga, AJ, man, that, that nigga wild, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. He a New York nigga. He a what? He a New York nigga. Like, New York niggas, they, 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 they wild with it. You said a New York nigga? Yeah. Oh, okay. And you New Jersey or New York, huh? Nigga, I'm from Jersey. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna add your Discord, bro. I wanna get up on this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah add me on Discord. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna text you a link right now. All right, what happened to your IG? I just texted my number. That shit in my head. Man, hopefully that should be back tomorrow, man. I don't, I don't like. I don't know what be going on sometimes, man. Like today, fucked up my mood, man. Like I, I was, I was good. I see, I see, I see. I'm like, what the fuck? It was just like it kept going. I refreshed my page. My shit just went out of here, nigga. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to yeah, talk to you. I'm going to tell you, though. Uh, I love you, nigga. I'm going to keep it 100 because when it comes to Instagram, when it comes to YouTube, bro, first, understand this. Understand this. I don't fuck with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why if you look at my YouTube channel, you ain't going to see no collabs. All these fucking record labels still won't deal, bro. Just for the simple fact, bro. I see you when I see all these other rappers, bro. Don't fuck with the labels that gonna fuck you up. You just did a whole rant probably like a week ago on how the label pay you up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just saying with the podcast, how they trying to hit me on these deals. 
The reason why I said I love you, bro. <coughs> when it came to your Instagram, you had no, no hesitation to shout me out when I did some shit. You know what I'm saying? When it came to your YouTube, you be live up in your video, you would shout me out. You been doing that shit for years, nigga. I ain't asked you to do it not one time. You ain't asked me for no bread, bro. It nah, was of like, course. Hey, nigga, I shouted you out uh, a year ago. Nigga, I just dropped my video. I'm going to go ahead and... It wasn't none of that, bro. So fuck what everybody's saying, nigga. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Let me tell you why I fuck with you. Because, yo, I... At one point with this hip hop shit, they wanted me to be everything, and I, I could only be me. So they, they wanted be they wanted me to uphold and, and give the street nigga perspective, but I can't give some shit that I'm not. So I'm I'm on I'm on YouTube and I'm I'm watching everything, and I start watching your shit, and I'm like, I'm gonna keep it real with you. This nigga giving a different perspective from me. But even if it go in my favor or not, I respect it. So then, you know, like, you know, it's been a whole plight when when it comes to dealing with these, you know, artists or labels. When niggas started looking at me to be like, yo, what act? Why don't you do this? I'm like, man, what y'all need to do? Don't expect me to do everything. Start fucking with these other niggas. Bro, if you a West Coast artist, you be in the streets, you shouldn't even, yo. An act interview, you should want a ghost interview before act interview. You know who hit me up every time you post me? Who? Empire. They supposed to, yo, I had to tell everybody, I'm like, yo, listen, I'm only one man. I know I know. people think it's like so big and so crazy, but I'm one man. Just like you one man. You can't come to act to do everything. You can't think that act is going to understand. Like, nigga, I've watched you with certain artists and, and how you break it down. And I'm like... Nigga, I would have never thought like that. Right. Like, people just think that, yo, because I've made it to where I've made it, I don't want to be the person responsible for writing everything with hip-hop. So that's why I tell artists, I said, yo, say, for example, you drop a project, you'll be like, damn, why that nigga act ain't really fuck with it like that? Dog, that might not be something like you, bro. I'm, I'm a human. You got to fuck with who fuck with you. And I and I see and I see people they they do the dick round shit. They were like, well, since you the biggest, we just want to fuck with you. No, nigga, you gotta support a nigga like Ghost, who already fucking with your shit. He got his shit locked. You gotta support him because he's he's a nigga who really in tune with your shit. I'm not gonna act like I'm in tune with some shit. I'm not. You know what I mean? When you be talking about that shit, bro. That's why I'd be like, damn, if I was sitting next to that nigga, I wouldn't have nothing to say. You be going in on the industry shit about the music meetings, about all that shit, right? Nigga, I still don't know who the fuck Tom Moscow is. You you said that nigga name, and I've been hearing that nigga name for like 10 years now. Tom Moscow, Tom Moscow. Who is that nigga, bro? Tom Moscow. Just, like, just like the shit you got, the shit you got, fuck these companies, nigga. Fuck Spotify. Fuck Everyday Struggle. Fuck all these niggas you fuck with, bro. You got this YouTube shit on lock, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you say. And I've been noticing, like I said, I've been fucking with you for seven years now. I've only been on YouTube since 2018, bro. 2017, late 2017. But I've been fucking with you for seven years. You know what I'm saying? You got your everyday shit. You slow down on the YouTube. You know what I'm saying? This year, nigga, you've been going so fucking hard, bro. And you remember I told you I fuck with you heavy. Yo, YouTube videos, nigga, you get putting up all type of shit like it was 2006 again. And then you can slip before you gonna post that shit, right? Yo, 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 let me tell you this, man. Yo, bro. And and, and this is why, you know, yo, it dawned on me last year. I, I was fighting the wrong battles. Like, bro, me. What it is, you, bro, what it is, what it is, you think you need these motherfucking, uh, these company and these labels, bro, you don't. Nigga, I agree. As soon as, as, soon as I seen you sign this shit with Spotify, I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? On my mama. I just buried my mama last month, nigga. Not finna lie, nigga. As soon as I seen that shit, I'm like, what the fuck I doing? You, nigga, they came to you. Did you or, am I right? Did you go to them or did they come to you? Nah, they came to me. Exactly my fucking point. So if you was rapper and, and a label came to you, wouldn't you be the nigga, uh, 
I got everything in his pocket, everything in his bucket. Yeah, the only reason why I went, the only reason why I fuck with Spotify though is because they allow me to do everything else I do. So you can you they didn't Joe Rogan you to where you can't post your shit on YouTube, bro. Well, 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 the podcast, but nigga, I'm streaming right now, nigga. Everything I talk about the podcast, I can still talk about with my stream. I can do what I want with it. You feel me? They're they're just gonna give me that extra visibility, yo. But 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 here's the thing though. What I've been fighting for for the last like you know few years is is that, bro, it's new media. Your new media. I'm new media. B. Lou and Zeus is new media. Everybody who's in. Too, bro. Love them niggas too. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, y'all niggas that have to show me no love, bro. I woke up in the morning. I think I had like a thousand DMs. Zeus and B. Lou, they big you up on that YouTube channel. Woo, 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 woo. I'm like, it's why I fuck with certain niggas. And I'm not saying I fuck with them just because they shouted me out first. But just that, bro, y'all niggas already. Y'all solidified. Y'all niggas already made. You know what I'm saying? Bro. And when it came, and when it came, 